scene script. Have you ever pondered if Ephesians 2.15 signifies that the Ten Commandments are abolished? This is a common misunderstanding that needs to be clarified, so let's delve into it. Ephesians 2.15 states, By abolishing the law of commandments expressed in ordinances, that he might create in himself one new man in place of the two, so making peace. But does this mean the Ten Commandments are no more? No, it doesn't. Here's why. Consider Matthew 5, 17, 18. Here Jesus says, Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have not come to abolish them, but to fulfill them. For truly I say to you, until heaven and earth pass away, not an iota, not a dot, will pass from the law until all is accomplished. This is an explicit statement from Jesus Christ himself stating that he did not come to abolish the law, but to fulfill it. Then there's Romans 3.31, which asks, Do we then overthrow the law by this faith? By no means. On the contrary, we uphold the law. Clearly, faith in Christ does not nullify the law. It upholds it. In Romans 7.12, it is stated, So the law is holy, and the commandment is holy and righteous and good. The moral law, which includes the Ten Commandments, is described as holy, righteous, and good, indicating its continued relevance. Romans 13, 8 10 further emphasizes, Owe no one anything except to love each other, for the one who loves another has fulfilled the law. For the commandments, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not murder, you shall not steal, you shall not covet, and any other commandment are summed up in this word, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. James 2, 8 of 12 speaks of the Ten Commandments and calls them the law of liberty, indicating their ongoing relevance. Matthew 22, 37, 40. Jesus summarizes the moral law with love for God and neighbor, showing the foundational principles behind the Ten Commandments are still valid. Lastly, 1 John 5, 2, 3 equates keeping God's commandments with loving God, indicating that the moral law remains important. So, to summarize, Ephesians 2.15 does not mean the Ten Commandments are abolished. Instead, various scriptures emphasize the ongoing relevance and importance of the Ten Commandments. They are called holy, righteous, and good, linked to love, and equated with loving God. Jesus Christ himself said he did not come to abolish the law but to fulfill it, so the Ten Commandments are still very much in effect.